Welcome. If you're feeling a chill in the air you're not imagining things, winter is gearing up for a dramatic entrance. Today, we're diving into the Polar Vortex, the heavyweight champion of winter weather, and the reason your breath turns to frost and your world turns white. As we approach the winter of 2025 to 2026, you'll hear this term everywhere, from news headlines to neighborhood conversations, and for good reason. The Polar Vortex is like the conductor of winter's grand orchestra deciding whether you'll just need an extra blanket, or if it's time to break out the snow survival kit and stock up on hot cocoa. Right now, meteorologists are already spotting early signs that this winter could be especially intense, with colder temperatures and more frequent storms than usual. The polar vortex, a swirling mass of frigid air high above the North Pole, is starting to stir and stretch its icy fingers southward. When it does, it can unleash powerful blasts of Arctic air, dropping temperatures so low that even a steaming cup of coffee can freeze in minutes, and sidewalks become skating rinks overnight. But the polar vortex doesn't act alone. Other atmospheric players like La Nina and the quasi-biennial oscillation are tuning up, each adding their own twist to the winter weather story. When these forces align, they can create a symphony of severe winter weather, bringing blizzards, ice storms and record-breaking cold to cities and towns across the globe. In this chapter, we'll break down what the polar vortex really is, why it's making headlines this year, and what it could mean for your winter plans, whether you're traveling, working or just trying to stay warm at home. We'll look at the forecast for the US, Canada and Europe, exploring which regions are most likely to be hit hardest, and how communities are preparing for the cold. By the end, you'll be ready for whatever old man winter throws your way, armed with knowledge, preparation tips and maybe a few extra layers. So let's get started and see what this winter has in store. Let's clear up the mystery. Despite what you might have heard, the polar vortex isn't a single storm or a blizzard barreling down from the north. It's actually a massive, persistent system of icy winds and frigid air that circles high above the Arctic, forming a kind of invisible barrier around the North Pole. Picture it as a swirling pool of some of the coldest air on the planet, spinning tens of thousands of feet above the ground. This pool is held in place by powerful winds that whip around the pole, creating a sort of atmospheric fence that keeps the cold locked in. During the winter months, the polar vortex becomes even stronger and colder, tightening its grip on the Arctic. It acts like a lid, trapping the icy air and preventing it from spilling southward, at least most of the time. When the vortex is stable, the jet stream, a fast-moving river of air, flows smoothly around the Arctic, reinforcing that barrier and keeping the coldest air bottled up far to the north. That means milder, more manageable winters for places like the United States and Europe, where people can often get by with lighter jackets and less snow. But sometimes the vortex weakens. Imagine a spinning top that starts to wobble and lose its balance. When this happens, the jet stream becomes wavy and distorted, no longer able to keep the cold air contained. This is when chunks of Arctic air can break free, plunging southward into areas that aren't used to such extreme cold. That's when we see sudden cold snaps, record-breaking low temperatures and those infamous polar plunges. The polar vortex is truly the gatekeeper for the coldest air on Earth, holding back the harshest winter weather, until it doesn't. When the vortex is strong, it's like a locked gate, keeping the Arctic chill sealed away. But when it weakens, that gate swings wide open, and the cold rushes out. That's why meteorologists and weather experts keep such a close eye on the polar vortex every winter. Its behavior can mean the difference between a gentle winter and a season of deep freezes. The stability of the polar vortex is often the single biggest factor in determining whether your winter will be mild and manageable or bitterly cold and challenging. In a way, you can think of the polar vortex as winter's master switch, controlling the flow of cold air and shaping the season for millions of people. That's why understanding how the polar vortex behaves is so important for predicting what kind of winter lies ahead, and for preparing for whatever the season might bring. So, the next time you hear the term polar vortex, remember, it's not just a buzzword, it's the ultimate winter gatekeeper, deciding whether the cold stays locked away or comes knocking at your door. When the polar vortex weakens, winter gets serious. The vortex can split into smaller pieces sending blobs of Arctic air far from home. This disrupts the jet stream, making it wavy and causing deep cold troughs and warm ridges. Frigid air pours south leading to prolonged cold snaps and heavy snow. The result? Blizzards power outages and travel chaos. 
The clash of Arctic and moist southern air fuels explosive winter storms, especially nor'easters. When you hear about a weak polar vortex, it's time to pay attention. Arctic outbreaks become much more likely. For winter 2025 to 2026, models suggest several of these events, setting the stage for a dynamic, severe season. The freezer door could be wide open for weeks. Stay alert, this winter could be one for the record books. Enter the Sudden Stratospheric Warming or SSW, the wild card of winter. This phenomenon can dramatically alter the course of the season, bringing unexpected and extreme weather conditions. An SSW is a rapid warming high in the stratosphere, where the polar vortex lives. This warming can disrupt the usual patterns and create a cascade of weather changes. Temperatures can soar by 50 degrees Celsius in days, shattering the vortex and sending Arctic air spilling south. This sudden shift can lead to dramatic weather changes across the globe. The effects aren't instant, it takes a week or two for the chaos to reach us. During this time the atmosphere adjusts and the weather patterns begin to shift, but when it does, the impacts can last for the rest of winter, locking in cold and snow. This prolonged period of extreme weather can have significant effects on daily life and infrastructure. After an SSW the risk of extreme cold and snow skyrockets for North America and Europe, these regions can experience some of the most severe winter weather conditions. The jet stream becomes stuck, delivering wave after wave of Arctic air. This persistent pattern can lead to extended periods of cold and snow. Forecast models hint at a higher risk of SSW this winter, especially in late December or January. Meteorologists are closely monitoring the situation to provide accurate forecasts. If it happens, expect a dramatic shift to colder, snowier weather. This sudden change can catch many off guard, leading to challenging conditions. An SSW can turn an ordinary winter into a historic one. The scale and intensity of the weather events can be unprecedented. We'll be watching the stratosphere closely for any signs of this dramatic event. Stay tuned for updates as we track this potential game-changer for winter weather. What does all this mean for the US? Expect a volatile, stormy winter, especially in the east. December brings early cold to the upper Midwest and Great Lakes with lake effect snow and a chill in the Northeast. The Pacific Northwest will be cool and wet, while the South starts milder and drier. January is the main event. If the polar vortex weakens or an SSW hits, Arctic cold could grip the central and eastern US for weeks. This favors major nor'easters and blizzards from DC to Boston and bitter cold in the plains. February stays active, with cold possibly shifting back to the Midwest and Northeast. There's even a risk of deep freezes reaching Texas and the Gulf Coast. The West Coast remains more stable, with cool, wet conditions in the North and drier weather in the South. Buckle up, it's going to be a dramatic winter. Canada, brace yourself, this winter looks especially harsh. Central and eastern provinces will see brutal cold and heavy snow, with cities like Toronto and Montreal facing a classic Canadian winter, amplified. British Columbia gets steady storms and mountain snow, great for ski resorts. The prairies will ride a roller coaster of wild temperature swings. In Europe, a weakened polar vortex and negative North Atlantic oscillation could bring cold, snowy weather to the UK, Scandinavia, and Northern Europe. Major snowstorms and prolonged cold snaps are likely in these regions. Southern Europe, meanwhile, will be milder and wetter, with more storms but above normal temperatures. The jet stream's southern track pulls in moisture and warmth for the Mediterranean. So, while London shivers, Rome may see rain and mild winds. Beyond the polar vortex, other global patterns shape our winter. A weak to moderate La Nina is forecast, cooling Pacific waters and shifting the jet stream. This brings cooler, wetter weather to the Pacific Northwest and Upper Midwest, and warmer, drier conditions to the South. La Nina also boosts the odds of Arctic air plunging south, especially with a weak vortex. The quasi-biennial oscillation, or QBO, is another key player. This stratospheric wind pattern flips every two years and can destabilize the polar vortex. This winter the QBO will be in its easterly phase making the vortex more likely to wobble and break down. It also raises the risk of a sudden stratospheric warming event. Together La Nina and the QBO point to a colder, more chaotic winter. Two more puzzle pieces, the Arctic Oscillation AO and North Atlantic Oscillation NAO. The AO measures pressure differences between the Arctic and mid-latitudes, reflecting the polar vortex's strength. 
A positive AO means a strong vortex in mild winters. A negative AO means a weak vortex and cold air spilling south. This winter, expect frequent negative AO phases, prime conditions for cold and snow. The NAO focuses on pressure over the North Atlantic, affecting Europe and the eastern US. Positive NAO brings mild, wet weather, negative NAO disrupts the jet stream, sending Arctic air south and west. This winter, a negative NAO is favored, increasing the risk of cold, snowy conditions. The AO and NAO often move together, amplifying winter's extremes. When both are negative, expect a classic blockbuster winter. These oscillations are key to week-to-week -week weather swings. Watch for their shifts. They're the signals for winter's wildest turns. All signs point to a potentially historic winter, so preparation is key. Now's the time to check your home's insulation and heating and get your winter gear ready. Build emergency kits for home and car blankets, flashlights, batteries, food and water. Remember, long-range forecasts show patterns not daily details. Stay updated with local forecasts. Pay attention to storm watches and warnings and follow local safety advice. Winter is to be respected not feared. Understanding these forces helps you prepare. Stock up on essentials, get your snow shovels ready, and enjoy the season's excitement. We'll keep you informed every step of the way. Stay warm, stay safe, and get ready for a dynamic, chilly winter. That's your winter weather outlook.